Welcome to the 2022 shootout for the GT3 slot car proxy. Um, today we're going to be pre-qualifying 24 cars, I believe, um, for 13 spots. There's uh, 14 spots taken already and 27 spots are open, which leaves 13 spots out of uh, 24 cars are available for the um, for the taking. We're going to go by the top median times. So um, this way no lucky laps, um, lucky fast laps uh, out count, um, you know, easy running cars type of thing. So we're only going to be going by the median lap. Um, I'm going to be racing the cars in, um, the same order I have them on the forum, starting with Courtney's car and working my way backwards on the pictures. Um, the way I came out with that order was, it was just a complete random order when I posted it on the forum, the technical pictures and results, so might as well race it the same way, completely at random. Um, the track is running very well. I've been running it all day um, with my own rubber tire cars, great traction. I think we'll be looking for times, medium times in the low seven zeros and under seven zero seconds I would think would make it into the proxy if there if there's a lot of really good cars maybe seven zero is not good enough and all the cars all the top 13 cars need to be under seven zero not sure but uh, we'll see I haven't raced any of these cars so I'm hoping to have some pleasant surprises the first car I'm going to run is actually ALS's Ford GTI. It um, it won't be racing the series. It um, doesn't have a racing livery. It's um, just got a clear coat over the um, white kit body. So it's going to stay back for sure. Um, but for the sake of ALS, I thought uh, we would give it a run and see how it runs here at the mid BC track. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to run 20 laps. Actually, I'm going to run a couple, one, two, or three practice laps first, just to try to understand the car. That way I'm not surprised. And then I'm going to do a 20 lap um, qualifying race, which is a little longer than two minutes. Might be two minutes and 15 seconds. Um... So it should be long enough to determine how the car handles. Mid BC is a 85 foot track in length with um, dimensions of approximately 21 feet in length, the table, by about 12 and a half feet in, in width. Um, Numerous radius of corners, elevation changes. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, good luck. So the first car up is going to be ALS's. As you can see, it's a Ford GTI with a angle winder flat six motor, stock chassis. Let's give it a run. I'm going to be cleaning the tires with uh, sticky tape. I'm going to clean the tires until 
nothing comes off of them. So I'm not just going to do one or two swipes. I'm going to do several swipes until I see there's no more debris coming off the tires. Now some cars I notice need the front tires cleaned as well. So I'll keep an eye out on that as well. I'm just going to run uh, ALS's car under Courtney's name here and then I'm going to reset the whole thing. Very quick on the straights. Yeah, it's very quick, a little bit loose. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. It's a little bit bouncy and a little bit loose. smooth just the um, biggest downfall is the traction Here for ALS, we have uh, fastest lap time 7.443, and his medium time was 7.623. So, fastest lap time 7.4. So, there's 0.2 of a gap between the best lap time and the medium time. That's quite, quite the gap, and uh, a lot of good cars um, shoot for within. A tenth uh, between the fastest lap time and the median. So um, I'm thinking that um, ALS's car probably would not have made the um, final 13. But um, yeah, 
Hopefully ALS uh, has learned something from seeing his car run here in the shootout. Yellow flag. Okay, I'm going to restart the heat, so we're going to get on track here with Courtney's car. Just checking my GoPro, making sure everything's okay on my phone here. Okay, so that was the LS. Okay, so our first car for the shootout is going to be Courtney's. Courtney has a beautiful sideways Ford GTI. He has a standard sideways uh, chassis, slotting plus guide, a 25k per annum motor, Gears are 11 by, by 31, 11 by 31. Uh, what's he using for rear tires? NSR up ultra grips are the tires and the rear hubs are slotted air hubs, 15 by 10s. This car weighs 82 grams. Okay, good luck, Courtney. Make sure there's fresh tape. practice laps. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yellow flag. I'm just gonna select this so that I can do a practice run here. I'm just gonna start Five. this. Do a couple Three, practice laps two, and then I'm just going to restart one, it. Go. Very, very smooth. Quiet, too. Feels pretty nice. Okay, let's restart heat. Yellow flag.
chowder at the limit. to mention Courtney's from the United States from Tennessee I believe what Courtney has for medium time 6.976 fastest lap time of 6.872 nice car like I said I, I think if you're under seven seconds you'll be in but don't take my word for that, because I have no idea what the other cars are like. Up next, we got Oxo Cube, car number 23. Okay, Oxo Cube's out of the UK. Um, he has a, it's a light car, 77 grams. It's going to be one of the lightest ones in the field. He's got a beautiful um, NSR Corvette C7R with a green NSR hard chassis. The pod is an NSR pod with a medium spring set. A little bit of tape on the pod too, I see. Um, the hubs, tires, everything's NSR. The rear tires are NSR Super Grip. Okay, good luck. This is one of the cars that got a minor two-point penalty for not having the name on the chassis. If it makes it into the 27 car proxy, I will label it. It is a very quick car. Make sure I don't overdrive it. I actually get better times by not overdriving it.
like a light car. Okay, nice car, easy to drive, just a touch loose, nice and quiet. So we got a fastest lap time of 6.910. What does that give us for the median? Of 7.017. Nice car. Um, I do think seven zeros will make it in for the median. We shall see. Yeah, both these cars are within about a tenth of a second, the median and the fast slap. Which is good. Okay, next up, car 48, Arley Og, Mr. Goulet. Out of the United States, races uh, with Audi 1 in the northeast portion of the United States. He's got a beautiful Ford GTE. Just beautiful. So let me just call up my notes here. Okay, here we go. Okay, the car weighs 82 grams. It's... um. Got a sideways standard black chassis, slotted guide. Configuration is a sidewinder. I don't recognize that pod. Well, it's a scale auto pod painted black with uh, medium spring suspension. Gears are 12 by 34. Predator 22.5K motor. Those are a quick motor. I've tried those out in the uh, World Championship proxy, very quick, a lot of punch to them. Hubs, CB design hubs, front and back, 10 mil wide in the back, uh, with uh, NSR, NSR Ultra Grips in the back, 19.5 by 12s. Good luck. Front screw just came loose. I'm just gonna snug it down here. Back it off half a turn. 1.5 turns it says. Okay. Here we go. Good luck. Smooth car, quiet. Punchy little motor. turns the car kicks out a little bit yeah right hand turns left and like left turns good acceleration Thank you. 
flag. Right hand turns, like I said. Nice thing about the medium time is it's gonna just take the middle of the bell curve, so any crashes, any lucky fast laps, it ignores those and just goes right in the middle of the curve. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Yeah, like I said, right hand turns, it's um, a little loose. Not sure why if... I'll have to look at it on the block, but... Okay, 6.947 for fastest lap time. And we have a... 7.034 for medium. Stevie W, car 188. Okay. Stevie W, out of the USA, out of California. It's got a beautiful Skeletric Aston Martin. like a 3d chassis with a scale auto sidewinder pod NSR 25k Evo motor gearing 11 by 34 the rear wheels are racer uh, 17 by 10 air with NSR super grips 20.5 by 11 Scale Auto Guide. Nice car. Stevie W has been entering a lot of Skeletric um, bodies I've noticed and some other manufacturers similar to Skeletric with 3D pods. He does a great job on the, um, that type of car. Builds a lot of fast cars. Okay, good luck.
to drive good traction. Might be lacking a little bit of speed. Traction is really good. Almost feels like it would act like a magnet and let go suddenly. So I did notice right there, I noticed the car jumped a little bit when I when it, when it couldn't slide. Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful there. That's a sharp turn up there at the, at the far end there. Life to this car, it's glued. Anyway, really nice car, really nice car. I wish I could build a Skeletric that quick. 6.889, that might be the fastest lap time. Take a look here. Nope, second fastest. Courtney's still faster. And Stevie's got a 7.043. Getting a lot of 7.0s here for medium time. Hey, Courtney's still at the top. Up next, Car 70 Smokio, the legend. Smokio has won numerous proxies, numerous podiums, and he's won numerous series, the whole series. So, fantastic builder, true legend in our hobby. Smokio's put the S in slot car proxy racing, that's for sure. Okay, what do we got here? We got a uh, Skill Auto Viper. Not a Dodge. <laughs> it's a Viper. Um, 91 grams, so I think he's in the ballpark with a lot of cars. So a lot of cars will be high 80s, low 90s, I think. Car 70 is a trademark. Trademark yellow and uh, white. The bit of a black airbrush in between. That's his brand and it works. The guide is a slotting plus guide. Sidewinder configuration. Not sure what type of pod that is. Oh, it's a CG slot car pod, 3D pod. Motor is an NSR Shark 28. Rear tires are NSR Ultra Grips. Ultra Grips are really nice tires. I, I kind of stopped using them this year and I've been kind of questioning myself why have I stopped using Ultra Grips because they're a very good tire. I've been using Super Grips this year and I kind of like the feel of the Ultra Grip. Cargo Fast Racing Strapping Tape. Can't beat that tape. Okay, let's give it a shot. 
Number 70, Smoke Hill, Viper. Tires are very wide, I forgot to mention. Does he say how wide they are? I think they're a 13 mil wide tire. Yeah, they're definitely a very, very wide tire. Very well done as well. Nice and smooth. Snappy quick. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Unbelievable acceleration. Smooth. Very predictable acceleration. I've seen cars with huge acceleration that is not predictable. Wow, look at that. 6615 for fastest time. That's lightning quick. Last year's GT3 proxy, I think he probably would have qualified third with that time, right behind, um, in round zero, right behind Heli CA and Chris Walker, who both were in the 6.5s. I'm not sure if anyone was in the 6.6 six range, but uh, yeah, he would have definitely placed third, I'm pretty sure. Good job, Smokey -O. Let's take a look at your medium time here. There he is. Bam! At the top. Fastest lap time. 6.615 beats Courtney by, oh, about 0.25 of a second. Medium time, 6.674. Very tight with his fastest lap. Only about 0.0. Six behind his fastest lap time. Very, very easy driving car for such a quick car. Very nice. Yeah, he's going to sit at the top for a while, I'm pretty sure, here in this shootout. Good job. Okay, car 31.
Car 31, here we go. GS no point, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be goes no point. I'm not sure how you say that, but car 31. I believe he's out of New York, I think. Um, New York State, I should say. Was it Buffalo? I can't remember. But anyway, we got a NSR Maserati here. Um, 88 grams. We got a NSR wood guide. Chassis is an NSR white hard chassis. NSR Sidewinder pod with a NSR 28K Evo motor. Gearings 12 by 34. Front hubs, rear hubs, all NSR. Not sure what type of tires are the rear tires, but we've got a little bit of green tape. For the suspension of the pod it's like a narrow tire maybe only 10 mil max wide okay good luck Very fast. That's 2018 water pulls. Flag. Just trying to push it there. Yeah, quick. Nice car. Very smooth. I think I, I think just the speed surprises you a little bit. Just gotta take a little more care driving it with this type of speed.
coming from and I found it a little distracted. I just want to make sure the guide, uh, I'll have to check the guide. It's protruding from the block a little bit. If you can see that. So just make sure it's not too long. I'll check on that. So that might have been causing the scraping sound I heard. So I'm going to check that. But uh, yeah, quick car. Extremely quick. What do we got here for 6.793 for fastest lap time? And 6.958 for medium. So he's at the second fastest medium time and the second fastest uh, lap time. Nice car. Okay, next we got uh, CJ74. Corey out of uh, Michigan, I believe, in the United States. Car 74 kind of his trademark number as well 85 grams um, the um, NSR Maserati we have a NSR black I think that's the standard chassis NSR wood guide configurations uh, NSR sidewinder pod black which is the medium predator 25k motor gears are 1134 front hubs rear hubs are NSR hubs the rear hubs are NSR air 17 by 10s with uh, NSR ultra grip tires Around 10 mil wide, it looks like. Rear tires. Okay. Good luck. Fresh tape. I'm going to give us tires another clean here, just in case. Yeah. You kind of slid off to the side there, too. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I'm going 
very carefully. It kind of just suddenly kicks out. Um, definitely makes for a tougher drive when it slides quite suddenly like that. Yeah, it's a um, little more difficult of a drive than your usual cars, Corey. Okay, 7262 for fastest time, medium time 7.382. It's definitely the, probably the toughest car I drove, sorry to say, of these particular cars. If, if it just had just a little more traction, It'd be a beautiful car. It's it's smooth. It's quiet. So okay. Next up, Pepsi sixty two out of Australia. Wayne, 75 grams, Ford GTE, sideways. Underneath we have a standard sideways black chassis with a NSR 25K Evo motor. Mounted as a angle winder and a sideways uh, red hard pod. Gearing's 1127. Uh, staffs 15 by 10 air wheels in the rear with Thunder Slot TS004 tires. And then the fronts are 15 by 8 staffs with uh, NSR zero grips. Okay, good luck. Now uh, this might take two hours, folks. I selected 20 laps. Might be a little too long, but I'm, I'm, I was just hoping that 20 laps might give us a better reading of the car than to do, you know, 10 or 15 laps. Loose. 
Nice speed. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I like the speed and acceleration. Feels like a nice balanced car, just um, traction is a little loose. Yeah, it's just, sorry Wayne, it's just a little loose. Okay, 7.410 for fastest time. And uh, yeah, 7.619 for uh, medium time. So it's down at the bottom of the eight cars I've driven so far. So we still have the top three. We've got Smokio, GS No Point, and Courtney, top three. Three cars below seven zero seconds. Five cars, actually six cars have six, nine or less under seven zero. Up next, we got car 13, Modern Slots. Rob out of North Carolina. He races with the, the Skank group out of North Carolina. Slot Car Addicts of North Carolina. Car 13, 85 grams, NSR Corvette. Chassis. Is a white NSR hard chassis. Pod is an NSR extra hard um, sidewinder. The guide is an NSR wood racing guide, trimmed a little bit. Motor is an NSR Shark uh, Evo 28K. Gears are MR slot car gears. 11 by 33 front hubs rear hubs well front hubs are nsr 17 by 8 
with uh, NSR Super Grips on the front, 17 by 8. Please clean front tires. Kind of figured when he mentioned he's got Super Grips on the front. Okay, rear hubs, CBD, CB Design, 16 by 12 hubs with NSR Super Grips, 20 by 12. Pretty much identical to the hubs and tires I've been using on several cars that I've been running this year. Okay, good luck. Please clean front tires. I've been watching out for these cars. Kelly CA's made uh, sticky front tires popular for good reason. He won the damn proxy last year. We were all chasing him. Okay, here we go. Very smooth. Quiet. Really nice. It's gonna be a good car. Modern slots builds a lot of nice cars. a little bit on the corners, both directions. Pushing it there. Feels like the tires are um, getting grippier and grippier as I drive, which is a good thing. Five, it's a really nice four, car. Three, that was my two, fault. I was one, trying to push it go. there. Go a little faster and faster with each lap. Feels like it's getting grippier with every lap. Hey, okay. fastest lap time 6.902. Not surprised, it feels very quick. Uh, modern slots, he's sitting in fifth right now. 6.902 fastest time and median. 
6.974. Um, I'm not surprised that the median is so close to the fastest lap time. It's very easy to drive. Nice car, and it was just getting stronger lap by lap. So we got uh, Smokio, GS No Point, Courtney, Steve, Modern Slots, Oxocube, Early Og, CJ74, and Pepsi62. Um, that's the fastest lap time order. Um, you'd have to look at the medium times, but the medium times are following the fastest lap time is pretty close. Except for the fourth place car here for fastest lap time, Stevie W would actually be fifth behind modern slots, I should add. Okay. Okay, car 54, Les. Les is one of my club mates here from Kelowna, British Columbia. He likes to scratch build everything out of Lexan. As uh, Brumos calls him, Sir Lexan Les. So uh, Les has a 94 gram NSR Corvette C6R. Car 54, it's one of the heavier cars. And as you can see under here, it's um, completely made out of Lexan, the chassis. He mills it um, out of uh, his milling machine that he has. It's got an NSR 25K Shark motor. Gearing's 1131. Wheels are NSR both front and back and um, actually not the back the back or CB design look like 13 mil CB um, rear tires are NSR ultra grips even the guide is custom made out of Lexan so everything's made out of Lexan except for the pod it's got a slotted um, sidewinder pod Hey, good luck, Les. Les wasn't in the proxy last year. He was in it the year before. And I believe this was a top 10 car. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was. Remember, he was flirting with fifth place until the car got to Edmonton to that, that, that uh, huge um, uphill, downhill track that gained... I don't know, four feet in elevation, and his car didn't do that well. And I kind of messed him up for the rest of the series where he dropped from fifth down to... Might have been ninth. I'm not sure where he ended up. Somewhere around there. But yeah, he was flirting with fifth place for a while. Okay.
pushing it there. Got that time at the last lap. Very fast. What's his median? Les. 6.916. He actually has the second fastest medium time just in front of GS No Point. GS No Point, um, this car was a little more difficult to drive than last, so I'm totally not surprised he had a faster medium time. Les had a faster medium time. Nice car, Les. Can't complain. This chassis used to be a block of Lexan and you milled it out. Good job. Smokio still leading with fastest medium time is 6.674. Only five cars have below seven seconds for the fastest median. Five cars. And one, two, three, four, five cars are above seven zero. So maybe six, maybe below seven zero is the cutoff for this uh, proxy. Remember, top 13 cars out of 24 cars make it in. Woodcoat, car 116. Woodcoat's out of the United Kingdom. He's one of the administrators for the slot racer forum over there as well. And he does a fantastic job on that forum. Absolutely fantastic. He's also supplied some uh, decals for um, all the racers at um, all the cars will get the decal. Nice uh, slot racer form decal. Okay. Okay, so car 116. It's an NSR Mercedes AMG. Get my bearing here. Um, 93 grams. Um, it's got an NSR standard black chassis with a um, NSR Sidewinder pod. Gearing's 11 by 32. All the hubs are NSR hubs. Um, 17 by eight on the front, 17 by 10 air hubs on the back. Front tires, NSR zero grip and NSR super grip tires on the back. Good luck. Very smooth car. Just 
just not um, as hooked up as some of the other cars. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Corey Jets car, CJ74. Smooth, but a little bit loose. deep and um, exiting out quick on the, the corners with the gas. Sorry, it's just a little bit loose. It's smooth. Okay, so fastest lap time, 7.447. And fastest median is, or is medium time is 7.596. So yeah, it's just a, a little loose. Up next, we have Lone Shark. Lone Shark. Matt is one of my club mates as well. Let me just uh, get this information up here. Um, so yeah, Lone Shark has a scale auto c7r one of his trademark paint jobs he enjoys the orange um, this car weighs 81 grams so it'd be kind of on the just below the medium for the weight so he'd be kind of more a little bit on the lighter side i would say i'd say most entrants would be in the mid 80s is my guess so what Matt has here is he has a scale auto black chassis with the cutout rib stiffeners. So we cut out the, the uh, supports here and just uh, added a little more flex to the chassis. He kept those uh, attached, but he cut out the rest of the slot. Uh, slotting plus guide. You've, um, wood guide um it's a sidewinder slot at one mil offset pod with a nsr shark 30k motor might be that's one of the i think there's only two cars of 30k motor in this grouping it's definitely the fastest motor uh gears 11 by 36 gearing the front hubs 
are Scale Auto 15 by 10 hubs. Rear hubs are NSR 17 by 10 air hubs. So 15s and 17s on the back. NSR Super Grip tires on the front. Need to be cleaned. I'll do that. Rear tires, NSR 52, 15 Ultra Grip tires. 20.5 by 11.5. Let's see how this car does. I saw this car in testing about a month, well, probably two months ago, and it was very quick. Let's see if it's still quick. Fronts and rears cleaned. Very quiet. Very punchy motor. Here we go. Very smooth, very quick. I felt quicker 30k green NSR motors. This, so this one's a little soft, but it's still very quick. You gotta still be careful. Right at the limit, a little bit of a chatter. And I'm trying to push it a little quicker. I'm just trying to push it there. Yeah, great grip. Car feels like it's on rails. Nice car. Fast time six point six six two. That's very quick. Very quick. I don't think it's quite as quick as Smokio's, but it's going to be damn close. Lone Shark, number car 60, right behind Smokio, 6.738 median. About 0 0.06 behind uh, Smokio for median. Fastest lap time, about the same, 0.5 behind Smokio. 6.662 for fastest time. So he's sitting in a solid second place right now. So, how many of our field is below seven seconds for median? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six cars out of uh, 12. Half the cars are below seven seconds. So that's gonna be pretty close to our cut line with maybe one or two cars, maybe three cars in that seven zero range. It looks like the prediction will be. We shall see. Nice car. Tatter zero zero or Tatter zero six. Car fifty. I believe this car is out of the UK as well. Very shiny tires, rear tires. Tatter, car number 50. 93 grams. So, one of the heavier cars. NSR Corvette C7R. Chassis is a 3D chassis. An Amato chassis with uh, for slotted pod. I've used these chassis before. Uh, they, they felt just a little too stiff for me, so I'm a little, so I'm curious how this one's going to run. Uh, guides a Stiolato angle winder. Angle winder slotted pod. Could be a Stiolato pod too. Motors and NSR Shark 25K. Gearings 11 by 30. MR slot car front hub 16.5 and rear hubs are NSR air hub 16. Slot at zero grip in the front and rear tires are BRM F15. I've never used those tires, so this will be interesting. Okay, Tatter 06. Yeah, the tires look beautiful.
my wheel spinning when it stopped. Okay, fastest lap time, 7.280. A tatter, yeah, 7.418. So, um, yeah, just the lack of um, quality grip was the downfall for this car. Okay. Up next. Car 101, out of the Czech Republic, Ford GTE, JMS, 89 grams, yeah I don't recall seeing JMS in any other proxies around here but maybe he's been in the European proxy circuit, uh, sideways Ford uh, GTI chassis is I think it's a self-made 3d chassis by his friend um, PK CZ so probably trying to promote their chassis we'll see how it goes 20 seconds. oh I better pause this there we go yeah, so maybe this is a good advertisement for their chassis. Okay, sideways wood guide, slot at 29k motor. Fast motor, gearing 10 by 34. Um, configuration is a slot at pod with the 1 mil offset. White slot at pod. Yeah. Um, 3D black arrow front hubs. Rear hubs are G Martin 16 by 12. Uh, front tires are zero grip NSR and rear tires are scale auto. F1 AS25 tires. Never tried those tires either. They need to try them out. Okay, good luck. Car 101 out of the Czech Republic. Lots of body float on this. Uh... Chassis. Beautiful. Paint job, I'm gonna add. Very smooth. Great traction. This is gonna be a good car. It's gonna be an extremely good car. Looking forward to this car. Five, four, three, two. Until we one. have a good car. Go! Very fast and smooth. You're going to be a little bit careful in the S's because of the speed of the motor. Don't overdrive it.
Wow. Wonderful car. Wonderful car. Awesome. Look at that time. 6.527. Very fast. That fast time pretty much probably almost matches Heli CA's time in round zero last year at this track. Heli CA, Heli CA Leon won this proxy last year and this car feels very similar to Leon's and just achieved the similar fastest lap time. Let's check a look, take a look at his uh, medium time here. Bang, first place. Fastest lap time, 6.527. Fastest median, faster than Smokio's. 6.602 for median. Very fast. I'm curious what uh, Heli CA's medium time was last year. Very curious if that beats his medium time or even the fastest lap time. Very nice car. Awesome. I love surprises like this. Great job. That's why we were posting on the um, in the Euro European forum, the slot racer forum, looking looking for racers such as this that can build fast cars and race over here in North America. Awesome, thank you. Great chassis. <laughs> you might be getting some orders from from North America. <laughs> Next, another car out of the Czech Republic. I'm curious what this one's like. This one is PKZ, PKCZ, car 100. Um, and that's who builds these um, chassis. That's his own design. So it's a PKCZ chassis and the user, the driver, Builder is PKCZ. Car 100, beautiful paint job. Look at that. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Gorgeous. Uh, same thing. Self-made 3D chassis. Sideways wood guide. Slotted 29K motor. Gearings 10 by 34. Um... Sidewinder slotted pods, one mil. NSR front hubs, rear hub, G Martin, 16 by 12. Uh, front tires, zero grip slotted, and the rear tires are scale auto, F1 AS25 again. I'll have to try those tires out. I've never tried them. Well, if this car is anything like the last car, and this is the fella that actually makes the chassis. I'm very curious how this is gonna run. Here we go. This reminds me when Camber from Australia joined our proxy completely out of nowhere. Camber was uh, visiting me, or well, he was skiing out here and gave a little visit to me several years ago when I was telling about their Group 5 proxy and he decided to enter it. And sure enough, he won two straight championships. Here we go. Yeah, tires feel really nice. Up than the last one. Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Very fast acceleration, but they can handle it. 
and enjoy the drive. can't describe this car. Amazing. Amazing. Just sit in there, sit in the cockpit, recline that seat, enjoy the drive. Car drives on its own. 6.357 for fastest time. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's my track record. Let's take a look at the median time. Below 6.5 seconds. <laughs> That's amazing. Awesome car. Awesome. Joy to drive. Car 100 and car 101 from the Czech Republic in first and second place with a smash. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Remember top what is it? The top um, 13, the top 13 cars make it in. Top 13 medium. Wow. Nice. I love surprises like that. Okay. Who's following up? Car 69, Austin. Okay. Car 69 Austin. This car is having some sort of motor difficulties. It's running, when I tested it, it was only running 3700 RPM on the dyno. Half the speed of any other car. I cleaned the braids, I, um, the, the wiring on the motor didn't look very good. So I re-soldered the wiring on the motor and it Bumped it a thousand RPM to 4700 RPM now, but um, yeah, I, I, I just I don't know, I just couldn't get it any quicker. So the motor doesn't smell or anything, not sure. Oh, and during tech, this motor was wired backwards, so it was running backwards when it was sent here. So I reversed the leads at the guide so it'd go the proper direction. So yeah, this motor car is going to run slow, just to warn you. Okay, it's a NSR Corvette C7R. Chassis NSR, black standard chassis. It's got a Sidewinder NSR pod, the NSR Shark 28K Evo, gears are 1132, hubs 
and tires are all NSR. Okay, Austin. Let's uh, see what we can do. Yeah, I'm kind of mind boggled why the, the motor doesn't smell or anything, doesn't feel it's like lagging or anything. It just, it's just running slow. Nothing's binding, the axle's loose. It's just bizarre. As you can see, that's top speed. It breaks off, it coasts a mile. There's nothing binding. But it's interesting how I re-soldered the wires, flowed the solder a little better. It did gain a thousand RPM, so not sure. I did look at the brushes, like through the holes, and it one brush looks a little cockeyed, so if it's not making good contact, that could be a possibility too. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Yeah, it's kind of painful. That's flat out right there, through the essence. I've seen motors start running slow and smell, but it's like this one's just running perfectly stock at this speed with no issues. It's bizarre. That check car that I just drove would be lapping this every second lap. <laughs> I ain't just held the trigger there, I didn't even slow down. trigger down the whole way. This is the only corner I need to slow down on. Sorry this is so painful. There, I slowed down that time. Actually two corners have to slow down for. Oh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. okay Sorry, Austin. Lance. Lance out of Hawaii. Okay, Lance has card number 24, Lamborghini, made by Sideways. It's a rocket, 8,700 RPM on the tack at 10 volts. It weighs 91 grams. Um, it's got a Sideways red hard chassis. Guide is slotting plus. Uh, da, 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 da. Configuration is Sidewinder, one mil offset pod, slot it, NSR 30k motor, very fast motor. Only Lone Shark and Lance have green 30k motors in this proxy. And then you got those two check cars we just drove, they're 29k slot it's. Uh, gears, 1134, front hubs are independent axle. Rear hub, CB design, 15 by 10. Front tires, NSR zero grips, zero grips, and rear tires are NSR super grip. Okay, Lance, good luck.
Okay. Yeah, it's very fast. That took my full concentration to make sure I hit my braking points right. I didn't accelerate too early out of the corner. It was very fast, punchy motor. Okay, so we got 7.120 for fastest time. And the median for Lance is 7.204. Yeah, it's probably going to end up outside the range, I would think. Looks like uh, 6970 might be the cutoff with two, four, six, seven cars left. We'll see. Remember, thir top 13 make it in. Top 13 medium times. Okay, Ed Driver out of Saskatoon, right, Saskatchewan. Car number 27. Okay, 53 BN1, car 27. Ed's got a car here that's uh, Aston Martin, NSR. Yep, built by NSR. Um, I just hold on a sec here. Let's... Actually, that's a Maserati, I think. That's yeah, a Maserati. I'm not sure my notes here are totally wrong. Anyway, NSR black chassis, NSR stock guide. Yeah, this is the car that didn't have that much engagement into the slot on the block. Shark 25K Evo motor, gears are 1132. Uh, front hubs NSR 8x17, rear hubs NSR 11 by 17 front tires NSR coated with nail polish and rear tires are NSR super grip 12 by 20. Car number 27 looks like it's a self painted car. Yeah, it is, I think. Or maybe not. No, it is, I think. Maybe that's a decal. Okay, car 27. We only got six cars left after this one. And you're just checking the, the video, making sure it's okay. I must be getting tired. Tired. Sorry, that that is an Aston Martin uh, Maserati. I'm getting tired. Too many 20 lap uh, sequences here. I was expecting more cars that needed their front tires cleaned. There hasn't been a whole lot. Maybe just two or three. Three, two, one, go. This 
very smooth. It's very smooth turn. Just it's, uh, it's loose. Yellow flag. Yes, it's a little loose. I'm just going to clean the tires one more time here. But Yellow flag. I'm pretty sure it's not going to help. slipped here. Let me just tighten the wheel here. Looks like just the gear slipped here. I'm just going to tighten it up, but the car is uh, so loose, I'm pretty sure it's not going to make it into the proxy. Anyways, I just want to finish this session here. tighten it but uh yeah based on how the car is running and how loose it is i don't think it won't make it in to the proxy and it might be engaged enough right now but We'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just too loose, sorry, Ed. Yeah, it's just too loose. Okay, 7.842 for fastest lap time. The, uh, where is he? Yeah, 8.020. So yeah, not this year, Ed. Next, Reg Top Man. He's got a beautiful Ford GTE sideways. Just bring it up here. Okay, beautiful red, white, and blue Ford GT sideways, car number 88. Right top man. Underneath we have a standard sideways black chassis with a one mil um, slotted sidewinder pod. Clean all four tires. Some tape for suspension. Um, the car weighed 87 grams. Um, NSR 28K Evo motor, 1135 gears. Front and rear hubs are CB design. 15 by 8 in the front, 15 by 11 at the back. Front tires are Thunder Slot and the rear tires are NSR Ultra. Thus the cleaning the front tires as well. Okay, good luck. see it through the front. There's a loose weight. Let me just see if I can pick it out with the tweezers. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, a little piece of uh, rectangular weight fell out of it. So I'll just set this off to the side. I like to crazy glue all my weights, all my screws, anything that can come loose. I like to crazy glue it all. Okay, let's give this another run. Sorry for the delays. Oh, some more weight came out. Oh, 
bigger piece. A little smaller piece this time. Okay, let's try again, see if I can make it around the track. Well, the car's getting lighter. Okay, let's give this a go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! does better on right hand turns. Or no, sorry, left hand turns. car except for the weights coming out but still drove pretty good 6.821 for fastest lap and uh where is he here right top man 6.925 medium so below that seven zero cutoff we got one two three four five six seven eight Nine, nine cars under seven zero with five cars left. So Oxo Cube might be on the verge of getting in. Same with Arliog, they might get in. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, Bark. Out of Grand Prairie, Alberta. Oh, let me pause this first. Okay, here we go. Okay. Burke sent in the same livery that he had last year. Beautiful CN livery on a Porsche. Uh, 94 grams. Car number 20, NSR Porsche 997. Chassis is a self-made Bark 3D chassis. Self-made, just like the Czech chassis that we that I just drove. Maybe not quite as quick as the Czech chassis. Uh, guide is a slotting plus guide. Um, the configuration is also a self-made pod. 
Um, it's a Sidewinder self-made bark 3D pod. And um, it's got a Piranha 25K motor. And the gears are 12 by 36. And rear tires are NSR. This is the car I was having trouble with, with uh, the braids. It's very tough, like stiff braid that has a quite the memory. So we'll see how it does. left after this one. Very quick motor. A little bit loose. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. You definitely have to be careful driving this car. It's a um, very punchy motor, but a little bit loose. Bouncing is accelerating. full concentration to um, stay on the on this roadway much it popped out of the slot. Oh, I'm having trouble with this car. definitely see and feel the bounce as you're accelerating.
Mm-hmm. Okay. 8.058 for bark. What was his median? Maybe down here somewhere. 8.214. Okay, four cars left. Four cars left for the top 13. Harley Og, Ox, Oxo Cubes probably feel a little nervous. Stevie W might be a little bit nervous. Let's see, a couple fast cars coming up here too, possibly. Aid C out of the UK, car 22. I love this livery. It's awesome. Okay, we got car number 22 out of the UK. That's where he lives too. 77 grams. It's a light car. I love the teeth. I love that. That's hand painted too. Flat finish too on the rest of the body. I love it. So this is a Scale Auto Porsche 991.2 RSR. The chassis is Scale Auto gray chassis uh, with a slotting plus guide. Configuration is a Sidewinder um, slotted pod. Looks like he's got those tungsten weights in there too, I can see in the bottom. Um, NSR Shark 25 Evo. 1132 gearing, front hub, scale auto, rear hubs, NSR, front tire scale auto, and NSR ultra grips. Curious how this runs with um, large packing tape for the suspension. Yeah, I love this paint. Lexan glass. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Very quiet. Quick car. Traction seems decent.
Smooth car, just uh, lacking traction. 7.128 for fastest time, and the median time for aid is 7.221. Not quite good enough. So yeah, these guys with seven zeros, they're in the running still. Up until 12th place, early Og, seven zero. Remember, top 13 make it in. There's three cars left. SR Hawaii. Weston's Garage and Bar Racing. So Stevie W, Oxo Cube, or Leog, all on the brink with 7-0. And we're leaders still out of the Czech Republic and Smokey O third. Lone Shark and fourth. Bar racing out of the UK. Beautiful car number 68. We have a skelet, it's a skeletric Aston Martin GT3. Beautiful car, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Jeremy's car weighs 89 grams, so it's right in the ballpark for rubber tires, I would say. So, like I said, Skeletric body with a slotted 3D printed chassis underneath with a Scale Auto Angle Winder pod. Uh, pinion 11, gearing 29, ratio 2.64. Uh, slotted CH85 guide, front tire, slotted zero grips, front hub staffs, 16.9 by 8.5 mil, rear tires, rear hubs, staffs as well in the back, uh, 16.9 by 10 with NSR ultra grips. Okay, good luck. Just want to change the intensity on my phone here. Just hold on. So I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure he cleaned his tires. I would hate it if I didn't. Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. 
three, two, one. Go! Ah. It's a little bit loose. Yeah, it's a nice car, Jeremy. Just um, if you just have a little more grip, it might get you over the edge. Yeah, just a little bit loose. Uh, fastest lap, 7373. Yeah, you just got to be closer to that uh, 70 um, range for fastest lap, 7069. And that would probably get your median fast enough, too. So, yeah, bar racer, 7442 as your median. Sorry about that. Two cars left. So who's got 13th place? That'll be someone in the 7-2 range here. Yeah, Lance, 7204, 13th place, last spot. So two cars left. And then the second last car will be our Leog that's sitting in there on the brink too. If these two cars, Weston's Garage and SR Hawaii are faster, our Leog and Lance are out. Or no, Stevie W would be out. Stevie W, 7043. Oh, let's see. Weston's Garage. Car number 55, Ferrari, the only Ferrari in this uh, field. Car number 55, purple Ferrari, uh, black arrow Ferrari, motors 22, well, let me first of all say it's 96 grams, this car. 
And Weston's out of Vancouver, Lower Mainland. Motors 22K long can, gears are 1330. Suspension, blue hard springs. Staff front hubs, 15 by eight. Rear hubs are also staff, 15 by 10 air. Front tires are BA zero grips and rear tires are NSR 5230 super grips. Guide is black arrow. Tuned by Weston's Garage, paint by Weston's Garage and decals by West Weston's Garage. Here we go. Let's see how the traction is. Five, four, three, two, one, go. As you hear, I think they're the um, super glue coated front tires that they're rolling, they're rock hard. So, no concern there. Oh, just try pushing it. Yellow flag. What do we have for median? Okay, Weston's Garage. Okay, 7.331. Yeah, he's out of the running. So with one car left, who's on the brink here? Lance. Lance sitting in 13th place on the brink at 7.204. On the brink, everyone else at 7.0 and less is in. Lance is on the brink. 
And this is all unofficial, of course, but this is what I can tell from here. Lance is on the brink. PKZ, JMS, Smokio, Lone Shark, Goes No Point, Les, Ragtop Man, Courtney, Stevie W, Modern Slots, Oxo Cube, and R. Leog are in. Okay, SR Hawaii, last car to run. SR Hawaii built some very fast cars, so. Actually, not very fast, extremely fast cars. Final, final car. SR Hawaii is out of Japan, actually. Lives in Japan. Okay, we got a car number 12, SR Hawaii, 92 grams. It's an NSR Mercedes AMG with a um, NSR chassis, slotted guide, NSR angle winder pod with uh, electrical tape as the suspension. NSR Shark 28 motor, gears are 1135, slotted front hubs, staffs rear hubs, seen quite a few of those staffs, NSR front tires, NSR super grip on the back, very low profile rear tires. Um, during tech I had to grind with a five point penalty, I had to grind the back of his uh, chassis as it was touching the block, but there's clearance now. Let's see how it goes. Lance is on the brink. Please clean all four tires, it says, so will do. Lexan glass as well in this car. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Very quiet. Extremely quiet. This is going to be a good car. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Quick and smooth. Very quick, you gotta be careful in the corners. It's so quick it can bite you if you hit the gas a little too soon coming out of the corner. The SRY's made some Beautiful cars the last uh, little while. World Championship, he's sitting second or third place. Not too shabby. With a lot of good cars. Car that you want to push. Beautiful car.
here we got it. 6.748, very quick. Let's see how high up his median was. Yeah, sir, Hawaii. 6.833. Fifth fastest median. So, PK, CZ, JMS, Smokio, Lone Shark, SR Hawaii, Goes No Point, Les, Ragtop Man, Courtney, Stevie W, Modern Slots, Oxo Cube, and R. Leog are in, unofficially. I'm pretty sure it's 13 cars that make it in in the shootout. I'll, I'll double check, but that's unofficial. I was kind of th wondering if all the 7 zeros and less would make it in, and sure enough, it was true. Interesting, no 7 1 cars. Everyone else, 7 2, and um, longer time, they're out. Lance is out, AIDS out, Weston's Garage, CG74, Tatter, Bar Racing, Pepsi, Woodcoat, 53BN1, Bark1, and Austin. And of course, some ALS with the um, disqualification for the illegal body. Thanks guys for watching and watch for the results on the forum. I should say congrats to the podium. PKCZ, JMS, and Smokio. Congrats, guys. Bye-bye.